Hey Virgo, I hope you guys all have a very wonderful new year. So this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of January 2022. And it's for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, if you want, you can get a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. Or you can check out one of your other signs. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with you. What is the overall energy? Oh, we have communication. This was one of the cards we got for Taurus as well. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Taurus. So it could be that communication is coming in or maybe somebody is really wanting to communicate. Or if you're already in communication, it could be that there are a lot of issues, a lot of things happening in terms of communication. So let's see what is going on here exactly. There we go. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, first half of January. All right, for the situation, we have the Eight of Wands. All right, okay, so communication. Crossed by the Three of Swords. Mm, okay, so maybe there has been a painful conversation that has happened or is happening. So it could be that at the moment... Um, yeah, let me, let me get the rest of them and then we'll see when we clarify. So for your recent past, we have the Five of Pentacles, your current energy, the Ace of Wands. Near future, we have the Five of Cups. For them, recent past, we have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, so that's the Six of Wands, sorry. For their current energy, the Hermit. Near future, we have the Lovers. And potential outcome here, we have Strength. Okay, so we do have Virgo showing up, your sign here, Gemini, as well as Leo. So some of you might be dealing with one of those signs. It doesn't have to be, though. Okay, so I'm getting that for some of you. It could be that there's some pain that is keeping somebody back from actually communicating fully, but I'm mostly feeling like there has been some action that was taken or some communication that has happened, which may have caused some pain between the two of you. Um, it definitely feels like maybe this person, the other person that you're dealing with here, may have spoken if it was them, because I do see you more being the one who feels hurt here. Um, having both the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Um, I feel like this person just really wanted to be right. Or maybe they allowed ego to get in the way. Or was just talking from that kind of an energy. Of really wanting to win. And that kind of left you feeling left out in the cold. Just feeling less than. Or just like, you know, like you're at a loss basically. I feel like this person is really doing some introspection though on whatever it is that has happened here with having the hermit in their current energy, not to mention if you are the Virgo here, them thinking about you um, and everything that, that was said or everything, the actions that, that were taken. At the same time, it's like you with this Ace of Wands, um, I feel like you know you, you want things to be resolved. You want there to be some kind of a new way of dealing with the situation or even a reconnection with this person in a different type of a way. To be honest, in the like immediate future, I don't see that happening just yet. I do see this person wanting this connection with you with the lovers being here. Definitely coming into that energy of fully appreciating this connection. But I still see you feeling that that hurt. So we're going to clarify and see. And we do have strength for the potential outcome, which <clears throat> I do see you getting stronger through this. And possibly just really, you know, standing firm in your own values and beliefs. But let's see. Let's clarify. So let's see the Eight of Wands with the Three of Swords. Yeah, Six of Wands showing up again. 
Um, definitely somebody having spoken from a very egotistical um, energy. We also have the King of Pentacles and the Empress. So yeah, there was, or there is still, there's, I feel like, it's interesting because I feel like this person still wants a commitment, or you still want this commitment. It's, it's like that energy is still here. And I do see this person viewing you as someone that they really want. You're trying to really stand in your own power though here. You're trying to really... It's like, no matter how hurt you are, you still want to hold your self-integrity. But there's pain. There's definitely pain. Let's see that Five of Pentacles for your recent past. We have the Devil. Okay, so Capricorn energy showing up. Yeah, I feel like this really, really threw you in this like vicious cycle of, um, not even a vicious cycle, just possibly feeling very much like the victim, just very, feeling very, very hurt to the point where it was just really taking over your emotions, taking over your mind. You were possibly occupying yourself with this situation. Um, a lot to a great deal to a great extent where it was very toxic for you there may have also been a fear of you um, being abandoned by this person which really also killed <laughs> um, your psychological state all right, so clarifying the Six of Wands for them, we have the Nine of Swords, Strength, and the Six of Pentacles. A lot of ego, a lot of ego showing up here. We do have Leo showing up again. Um, this person had a really hard time um, being able to find that balance within their own self and being able to communicate with you or give to you in a way where it would be like like giving equally. So I feel like there was this huge imbalance when it came to your interaction where this person was um, you know holding on to a lot of self-defense mechanisms for example possibly even gaslighting, and then you were like the at the other extreme, you know, being very, very kind, um, very vulnerable, very susceptible, very open. They, you know, they may have thought that they would win, but this actually did cause a lot of stress for them. Like, it's almost like this person didn't like being this way, but they just couldn't help themselves. It's like there was something there just like blocking them, like, really wanting to protect their ego. Alright, let's see currently. Let's see that Ace of Wands for you. The Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups showing up again. Yeah, so you're still feeling this sadness, I mean, it's showing up here both like just throughout your energy here, past, present, and near future. There's a lot of, it's like you're feeling restless. You, there's some kind of frustration, sadness, grief. It's like all of that because you do want this to be resolved. Um, let's see for them. Let's see the hermit. Again, let's not forget that the roles can be reversed, okay? Just to be sure. All 
All right, we have the High Priestess, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, this, this is a lot of insight here. There's a lot of introspection, um, retrospection, just really going deep for this person. I feel like they're fully analyzing their emotions, where their emotions, what their true emotions were, and where their behavior stemmed from here. All right, because with the High Priestess, as well as the Hermit, I mean, that's also, you know, intuition here. It's alignment. It's being in alignment with the Higher Self and ultimately gaining that knowledge of their own self, especially when it comes to their emotions or how they portrayed themselves emotionally, how they communicated emotionally to you. And especially with the Four of Wands, I mean, it's like they're they're finding that stability. They're they're understanding this essence of you know we're we're like a team. You know we're together. This is a foundation, and there has to be equal give and take. Not just in how much you give, but in the way that you give your energy. So let's see the lovers. Let's look at their upcoming energy first. All right, so we have the Ten of Swords, Judgment, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so now they're going through a lot of pain. They're facing an ending because it could be that even though you are, you know, feeling really sad, really depressed, um, I feel like you're kind of keep turning your back to this person. Because I see them feeling feeling this ending, and together with that, we have Judgment and the Ace of Pentacles, and that talks about a new beginning here. And especially with Judgment here, that's like, you know, these lessons having been learned. Them having that awakening, which is related to that introspection that they've been doing for their past behavior. So, yeah, I do feel like this is kind of similar to, to Taurus. Because I see this person wanting to reconnect here with that judgment. Give this a second chance from a completely different perspective. Having made a discernment, having understood the pain, the betrayal, or whatever it is that they have um, caused here. And wanting to take a new path here. See the five of cups for you because I don't see you really being too thrilled. Ooh, wow. Okay, we have the tower and the world. Yeah, it's like it's not easy for you, but I don't see you really accepting this. It's still difficult, it still makes you feel really sad. But I feel like you're just, you know, kind of like blowing it up with the tower. Like just, no, you know what? Like this just has to be done. I want to be done with this. I don't want to have to deal with this. And it feels like you, you just want a huge change. You want everything to be different. And in order for everything to be different for, for you, that would mean that this person, you're not giving this person another chance, basically. Let's see strength for the potential outcome. All right, interesting. We have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I see you, at least for now. Okay, potential outcome does not mean forever and ever. Um, but for the time being, I see you really standing up for yourself at all costs. Like, you are not going back to this. It's like you're just holding yourself back from that. Because you want to be happy. I feel like there might still be that part of you that does want a reconnection with this person. But because you went through something that was so toxic for you, you don't want to go back to that. And because you feel like you are detaching, you want to make sure that you just 
don't go back to something that is unhealthy or being attached to something that is unhealthy. So I see you really being strong here and moving forward and finding happiness, finding love. And again, I mean, it could be with this person for some of you, maybe. But definitely for some of you, it's not. You're just, you just want to be done. All right, so let's see. There we go. Final message, if this resonates for you. All right, and we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. So yeah, take that as it resonates. Look at the bigger picture here. So Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.